safe and healthy farm is important for farmers, families, employees, and business. Preventing injuries and illnesses benefits not only people and the livestock, but your bottom line as well. This video addresses key behaviors in sows, especially how to reduce and work around aggression. Farmers raising pigs are exposed to numerous hazards every day, including needle stick injuries, back and knee injuries, repetitive motion disorders, weather-related injuries, hearing loss, and animal interaction-related injuries. These risks and hazards can involve sows, and we'll talk about how to work safely around them. An aggressive sow can cause injury not just to other pigs, but also to the people working with them. A startled sow can injure workers by running into them, trampling, or biting. These injuries can take people off the job and incur serious medical bills. They can also negatively affect farm production. Awareness helps prevent dangerous situations. Let's discuss situations that may result in elevated aggression in sows. If a sow thinks that her litter is being threatened, she may respond negatively. Handling piglets often isn't avoidable, but workers should be aware that sows can bite through the bars and may even attempt to jump out of the crate while catching piglets. Sows on maintenance diets or in group housing with limited feeding may display aggression towards pen mates or people. Water scarcity can cause competition and fights. You should be aware that aggression levels can increase when water systems are down due to maintenance or repairs. Aggressive behavior can occur in environments with limited options for exploration, distraction, and when submissive pigs are in the presence of dominant ones. Boredom can lead to antagonistic behaviors, rooting with their nose, tail biting, etc. This behavior is not always due to a barren environment. There can be many causes to seeing certain behaviors, including mixing of pigs and lack of space. When sows are mixed or put into new groups, it's normal to see some aggression between them. This usually lasts for about a day, with some aggression remaining elevated for up to three weeks. Aggression cannot be completely eliminated, but can be minimized. The following techniques can be used to reduce aggressive behaviors. Increase space allowance and provide physical and visual barriers to protect more submissive sows. Minimize changes in the social structure. In group housed gestation pens, keep sows together. Provide easy access to feed. Distribute feed widely or in such a way to ensure that all sows in the group have access to enough feed. Let litters commingle a few days before weaning by removing barriers between crates. Don't vaccinate or treat when they are not expecting it, otherwise they will become jumpy. And treat your sows respectfully. If you respect their behavior, you're less likely to get hurt. Understanding a sow's natural instincts will help you use proper handling and management techniques. Stay safe and take the following safety precautions. Never move sows alone. Some sows may become agitated and act in erratic ways. Take your time moving sows. They don't like to move fast. Calm handling makes for calm animals. When you move sows, ensure a clear path and remove obstacles and distractions. Use a sword board when moving sows. It provides protection for your body, especially your knees. Use pressure zone principles when moving sows. Daily interactions will result in less stress for both you and the sow and can make the weaning process easier. When you know more, you can work better. Let's review the key points when working with sows. Increase space between sows. Keep sows together in group gestation pens. Provide easy access to feed. Let sows commingle. Don't vaccinate or treat when they are not expecting it. And treat your sows respectfully. By practicing these guidelines, you can create a safer and healthier workplace for yourself and the animals, which supports your bottom line.